Hey guys, this is Toys Wolfie Saga doing another video today for you guys. Today I am doing a review on a figure and I kind of want to start doing figure reviews and stuff and pretty soon I will start doing it on my channel actually. As you know I have a plan of making make a lot of videos and this one I'm doing. So um, before we get started with this, I will do another live screen maybe um, Saturday or Friday so between it I'll let you guys know during the week but um, as for now I been it been kind of a crazy week but it was kind of crazy but not all the way crazy so I'm sorry that I missed one with Solar Train's live screen that day I was gone somewhere so sorry I missed your live screen buddy but I will watch it actually so I can see what's going on in your podcast so I'll check that out later but today I am doing um, a review on a Mortal Kombat figure and this one is um, Sonya from Mortal Kombat as you know one of the popular characters in Mortal Kombat games Sonya Blade as you followed by Jax and Johnny Cage and Liu Kang you know, Raiden, of course, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero. So, this is a Sonya action figure made by Infinite Concept, uh, Kunjit, uh, Center of Gravity, Joint, Integrate, is it, Interni Technology? I think this is a company that came out Maybe in uh, maybe like 2000, but I think something happened to that company or something, and they was gonna make another set of these figures, but they there's only made one set of these, and these guys are pretty hard to get, and they on eBay right now only only up to like a 200 um, dollars and stuff, like really, it's kind of like paying a lot for you know a SH figure arts figure, but you're paying a lot for this figure too and this is an old figure it's basically about it's three years younger than me so I was born in 1997 this was made in 2000 so I know by my chance this this is three years younger than me so this will be I'll be 19 in August August 18th and this figure will basically be 16 years old this year so this 16 year old figure pretty pretty a good age for that so as you can see it says more combat on the top and of course more combat is my favorite game and I love more combat I always play more combat so let's just look at the figure as you see uh, it's in the box I'm going to open it and show it to you guys and she looks pretty great it looks good and I see his side and she looks actually nice in the box but I, mean, I am going to open this figure actually so let's look at the back of it and you can see all the other figures on the back that came in this set and I only have five of them she's one of them so I'll tell you who I have and I'm glad that I did find these guys uh, I got I have Liu Kang, Scorpion, Molina, Sonya, and Sub Zero. I have all five of them, so, except Shang Tsung, and he's the only one that I don't have yet. So as you see, it says what Smart Comeback is about, you know, and about the company that was making these figures. Basically, they went out of business, and these came out, as you can see right here. It says 2000 Midway Game Inc. Incorporation Mortal Kombat. Basically, these figures kind of reflect off the Mortal Kombat 2 game, actually. But some characters, like I think, I think Sonya was not in Mortal Kombat 2. But the rest of these guys were from the Mortal Kombat 2 game, I guess. And I do like Molina, I do have her. I will show it to y'all in this video. But we're going to do a review on Sonya. I guess I'll do a review on all of them if I can. But 
I will only only have five of them. These are the only five I have except Shang Tsung, and he and I think I can get him because he's not really bad price right now. But I lucky I tell you how I got these guys. I got these guys in a lot together. I got Molina, Scorpion, Liu Kang, and Sub Zero in a lot, and it was actually a great lot that I found them, found a good price with them. And I'm glad that I have them. And I think I am going to use this Sonya and Melina in the show, in Toys Ball Z, in the remake of Season 1. So you guys can, I can't wait to do that with them. So, I'm going to now, as, I, I guess I can read this, if these guys, I guess I can. Kajit, I guess, Center of Gravity Joint and Integrity. In, in integrity Technology is a unique design that maintains the human, animal, or cartoon figure in Tommy Cool Joint and technically painstaking attention to the aesthetic design and unique use of production parts. Connection achieve more fluid and natural transition within each individual articulation point. The screen degrees of movement, the totally unique or retinent ankle joint, allow for figure to literally shift and weight to comfortably balance itself, creating a center of gravity. Now, when a figure is posed, angular feet are planted, they stay parallel to the single angle of the plane that they are on. So I guess these people are just going to make cool for more comeback figures, and they got bankrupt in 2000, I guess, and never ever came to be, and these are the only ones they made. And they, there was a second series, I think I looked these guys up, there was a second series of these, but they did not make it at all. And up on the top, <clears throat> it talks about the Mortal Kombat, what it's all about. Thousand years ago, Mortal Kombat was a noble competition for honor and glory. Today is a terrified tournament corrupted by the evil Emperor Shao Kahn, who attempts to unbalance the forces of Earth and the outworld, and if he is successful, internal evil would plague the earth realm who fails to defeat Shao Kahn will have will have his soul stolen cast into the outworld realm forever so I guess it's about a tournament and stuff so that's basically what that's about now I'm going to open up this figure and now you guys now I'm going to open this open up Sonya I do have the others guys they in our closet but I guess I'll show you them at the end of the video. So let me open up Sonya first, and so we can see what she's all about. All right, here she is out of the out of the box, and she it looks great. I actually like it. Uh, she's she stands about seven eight, seven inches tall. These figures are basically taller than the regular action figure if you buy action figures of Mortal Kombat. And she looks actually cool, and her costume kind of reflects off the first Mortal Kombat game actually, because she was in Mortal Kombat 1, and she looks cool. And this is basically, I think this is the only Sonya, Sonya figure, base, basically the only Sonya basic figure, besides the little Hasbro figures they released of Sonya. But these are, these are pretty good, I actually like these figures, they actually are awesome because they actually made a character that's in Mortal Kombat that is a popular character in the whole franchise and she's definitely one of the popular characters in the game so here's how she looks you can see her face I'm trying to get it focused I guess it won't focus here's the back of her her hair is yellow, of course. Her outfit is green. And she wears like a bra. You can see her bra and her waist and her, her boobs, I guess. As you know, more combat is, you know, great M for mature. So, uh, I guess I'll do her articulation. So, i put the camera down first. Okay, her arms, they go up and down. They can go out like this, and they can go up. And they kind of get blocked by her hair. 
this figure is new in the, this this is a new figure that came out of the box and she bends at the arm back like that she can you know have her hand like she, she's getting ready to fight or doing like this you know her arm does the same thing like she can do this like she yeah I won you know something like that her hair her head the only side to side her hair is made out of rubber and her legs can bend kick back like this or kick out the other way and I can try to like her move from the game like she grabs you by the legs like she does this and flip you with, with her legs and her, her waist can move as well just a little bit not all the way and she's they say like she's pretty hard to stand up but I can actually get her standing up kind of but they're basically back heavy and you can actually get them to stand up and as you can see she's standing up right here and that's all for this Sonya figure actually I'm gonna go and get uh, Molina here she is here's Molina and this is Molina from Mortal Kombat and she's one of my favorite characters from Mortal Kombat and she's to stand the same size as Sonya here I decided to bring her so you can guys see her and she is my favorite figure actually I like what she comes with she actually comes with both of her weapons and she actually can take off her mask and I guess I can show that to you guys you can see <laughs> you know she can take off her mask so I had to put it back on alright um so yeah that is it of Sonya's review basically Molina is basically the same articulation as Sonya but I would do a snow video with her maybe do a review on her but I think I did review on just Sonya instead because you know they basically do the same thing. They got the same articulation, head, and body. You know, they kind of the same figure, but differently. As you can tell, she has you know her outfit from Mortal Kombat 2 and her outfit from Mortal Kombat 1. And I can actually like I actually like these guys. It's actually cool. And I can't wait to put her in Toys Ball Z because this is what she's gonna wear in the show. In Toys Ball Z Season 1 Remake. And she will actually look cool in Sonya as well. So yeah, that is really it of this review on Sonya. I decided to bring Melina so you guys can see her. So that is really it of Sonya. And they are nice figures. And I, I actually like them. So, that is it of this video on Sonya. I unboxed her. And here's Melina. And these guys are in Season 1 of Toys Ball Z. They will be coming in Season 1 Remake. And you guys will maybe wait a little bit longer for seat for the Episode 2. Because they're not done with that one yet. So, that is really it of this video guys. What do you guys think of this Sonya figure? She's on eBay too, but her price in her price maybe about eighty dollars, but her price is way above hers. Hers about two hundred dollars, and I luckily I got her in a lot with the other figures I have, so I'm glad I have her in my collection. So that is really it of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will plan on doing a hangout next week, of course. And I'm sorry that I missed all the other live streams and stuff. Solo train. I'm very sorry. So, that is really it of this video, guys. And this is a review on Sonya Blade from More Combat. And I just brought Melina in so you guys can see her. So, thanks for watching. See y'all next time. And peace.